Hey everybody, it's Andy at Burritos and Bubbly, and I'm going to use a French cleat system to organize this entryway. Alright, before we get going, I just want to explain real quick what a French cleat is. So a French cleat is basically a piece of wood that has been sliced down the middle at a 45 degree angle, like that. So this was one piece, I cut it down the middle, so now I have two pieces with an angle on them. You take one of those pieces and you attach it to the wall. So, like I've done here. And then you take the other piece and you put it on something that you might want to hang on the wall. Like I attached it to this piece of wood. So then, all you have to do is slide it in, and now your piece is secure to the wall. Now most of the time I've seen, whoops, most of the time I've seen this used for tools, like I have here in the garage, but I always thought the clean lines looked really cool, and I thought if uh, they were thick enough and the gaps in between were minimal, and uh, it was out of a nice piece of wood, like walnut perhaps, uh, it would look really modern and sleek. So that's what I wanted to do in our entryway. Okay, so once I figured out the measurements, I just wanted to do a few test cuts before I cut into the actual walnut I bought. So here I just cut a test strip that was gonna be the width that I needed, and I set my table saw to 45 degrees, and then what I figured to do here was measure from the top of the blade to the fence and make that four inches because I wanted the cleats to be four inches each on the wall. So I figured I'd just measure that with the fence here to the uh, to the inside tooth. Then I would line this up and once I got it uh, all in the correct position, I'd move the fence out of the way and do a test cut. Now after making that cut, I lined them up here, and uh, I was expecting this to be pretty dead on accurate, um, but I made a pretty big mistake, and uh, you'll see how inaccurate this is here. That is way off. And actually, let me show you what I did wrong. So when I was measuring here, I was measuring four inches from the fence to the top of the blade saw, but the problem is the wood didn't come up that high. The wood only came up about three quarters of the way up the saw blade. So that's where I should have measured four inches to. And because of that, it was a bit shorter than uh, it should have been. So anyways, after some trial and error, I did some more test cuts. Uh, this is demonstrating the pinky out method uh, that is not sanctioned by anyone. Probably a terrible idea, don't do that. Uh, anyways, after doing a few more test cuts, just kind of writing down where uh, the fence was each time, I got one that was perfectly accurate. So, after writing down that number on my fence guide, I went ahead and just started ripping sheets down to the correct width. So now it was time to make that first 45 degree cut for the cleat and I got about uh, this far in before I realized something was wrong here. That was not in the center of this piece of wood at all. So uh, I picked this one up, I looked at it and I said, hmm, what did I do wrong? Uh, and I realized I hadn't moved my fence. So my fence was not even in the right spot at all. So had to move that one in, scrap that board I just cut, but then after that uh, everything went pretty smoothly. After all my cleats were cut, I just wanted to do a test to make sure everything lined up correctly. So I knew my bottom cleat was going to be one inch higher than the bottom of the plywood uh, behind it. So I cut some one inch spacers and put my bottom cleat on, measured everything up to make sure it lined up correctly and was parallel with the bottom of the board. And then I clamped it on and I was going to screw in from the back just on the ends to just temporarily get it there. Um, one of the things I was particular about on this is that I didn't want any screws coming in from the front. So everything was going to be screwed on from the back here. The gap between each cleat is two inches. So I cut some two inch spacers and I was just going to lay my second cleat down on top of those and uh, make sure everything lined up correctly there. And after a little bit of measuring, uh, making marks just to make sure everything was at the right distance, 
I realized that my spacers weren't exactly two inches. They were just like uh, a 32nd of an inch off and it was really bothering me. So I ended up not using them. And what I did is I would just measure from the bottom of the plywood on the back and make little marks on, on the board to make sure everything uh, was in the right spot. But I, I just double checked this a ton because it was really bothering me that it wasn't right. So I was checking to make sure each cleat was four inches, which it was. Um, and I was just making sure everything was where it needed to be. So then I wanted to glue my first piece on. So this is the glue up. I didn't want to overdo it with the glue uh, because I knew I'd be putting a lot of screws in the back, but also if, if glue seeps out to that, uh, you know, that 45 degree angle in the cleat, it can be kind of tricky to get out. You got to really let it dry before you can do anything. So I didn't go nuts with the glue here. I think most people will tell you to use a little more glue than I did. Um, but again, you'll see, I, I go kind of overboard with the screws in the back of this. So it's going to be plenty strong. There's this thing uh, woodworkers say uh, that's really annoying about never having too many clamps, uh, which is really cool if you can afford them all. Um, but I have four. I have four clamps. So uh, I had to make do with the four I have. They're two different styles. Um, but you know, hopefully it does the job. Who knows? So I basically repeated that process a few more times on each board, uh, just sort of screwing it in on the far ends and then gluing it down. Um, and then after each one was in, I flipped it over and did about, uh, I think, nine screws in the back of each one, kind of staggering them back and forth. And after that, let out. There it is. One board finished. All right, so here it is in the entryway, us getting it on the wall. Now, I had pre-drilled some holes in here where the studs were on the wall. Uh, I had some great footage of that that was basically pitch black. Um, but as I held this up and leveled it, um, Carrie helped me get some starter screws in and then uh, yeah I mean she just continued to be a huge help as I uh, got this up there I don't think I could have done it without her all right I tried to color match this with the previous footage uh, but the truth is this is the next day um, I'd done the bottom board one day then did this the next day uh, the sad part here as you'll see is I have not changed clothes so I'm wearing the exact same thing um, but yeah so you know bottom piece was in Got the second piece up, marked where, you know, those holes are going to be. Did some drilling into the wall. I should note that on the actual plywood, I did uh, countersink on all those holes to make sure nothing split because it is an only quarter inch plywood. So I just took that second piece. Uh, it pretty much rested on top of that first one really easily. And then uh, just check out this move. Extension, grab shift got it looking good 10 out of 10 all right from there was pretty much just you know repeating the process over and over again um you know screwing them into the walls uh making holes first and uh it, it was really easy i mean i would recommend always starting at the bottom here because you can then just rest pieces on top of the ones you already had in the wall and then with this since there were three separate pieces you know one of the issues was just making sure everything lined up on this visible side uh, the side up against the wall uh, I wasn't too concerned about everything lining up perfectly but this side uh, on the right hand which we can see from the hallway just wanted to make sure everything was nice and smooth there and where the pieces come together um, you know it looked pretty flush and flat something I should mention that I forgot to film was that I did do a finish on these so I did three coats of a spray oil-based lacquer. Um, I think it's the Minwax brand, and I did a clear coat. And um, I was really debating if I should do like a wipe-on poly or a spray poly or a lacquer. And, and what ended up being easiest was just assembling the whole thing. I tend to like lacquer a little more, so then I did a spray lacquer. And uh, yeah, it really brought out the wood, really darkened the tone, and just made it look beautiful. All right, and then with the last screw in, uh, this project, I think, is done. Yeah, it looks good. Look at that dad gut sticking out. Wow. Time to stop drinking. <laughs>